guys and welcome to another tutorial video if you're new here you are most welcome my name is chi chi and if i thank subscriber thanks for always coming back and please permit me to digress a little bit just for a few seconds and that is because i want to appreciate god for the gift of life today is my birthday yeah! and i cannot be any less grateful i'm grateful for life i'm grateful for health i'm grateful for all the things god has blessed me with and i'm just here to say thank you lord for another year to my years so with that being said guys today we are going to be making this beautiful cape top you can call it a top you can call it a cape you see this top it's just yelling class and nothing less so we're going to be making this top and the most interesting thing about this cape or top is that it is two-faced so you can either use this or use the other side depending on what you want to match it with as you can see on your screen and that is the juicy part of this top so i'm going to be showing you everything that you need to know about the making of this beautiful top and as you can see it's calopy kind of it's not the regular straight one it's calopy at the front and then zigzag at the back this is a must have for everyone just put it on and it just fits class effort lesson but before we proceed please hit on the subscribe button if you haven't done so give this video a like and drop your thoughts in the comment section below so without further ado let's dive right into the tutorial for the length of this detachable blouse cape it's either you use the length of your breast point or your armhole length plus two inches okay so that is basically how you get the length that you use use your armhole length plus two or your breast points length okay so that's basically how we're going to be getting the length so for this the breast point length is 10.5 inches and the armhole is 8.5 plus 2 will give us 10.5 just like i said so you mark out that length and then this is the length we are going to be using okay so the next thing we are going to be doing is to get the shoulder measurements divided by 2 plus 1 inch so here the shoulder is 15 divided by 2 will give us 7.5 plus 1 inch will give us 8.5 okay so from this point we're going to be getting the armhole length which is 8.5 like i said earlier and then from the center fold again i'm going to mark out what i have at the upper part that's for the armhole length okay i mark it at this point and i'll be connecting so that we can mark out or cover out our armhole okay so this is the angle 90 for our armholes then from here i'm going to be marking the midpoint of this armhole length and then at this point i come in by half an inch so that i can have a perfect armhole curve just as you can see so after getting the armhole curve the next thing is to get the neckline width and i'm going to be using three inches for the width of the neckline and i'm also going to be using the same for the depth it's going to be a round neckline okay so three inches with three inches depth and then i'm going to be connecting the cord the neckline like so and after which i'm going to be marking out the uh shoulder slant and from for the shoulder slant at the armhole area i come down by three quarter of an inch and then i connect back to the base of the neckline okay so at this point here as at this uh, lower part that's the breast point length i'm going to be dividing the bust circumference measurement by four which is going to give me nine point five plus my swing allowance of one inch so that is it and i connect back to the armhole length like so so at this point uh the basic upper part is ready and now it's time to draft out the keyhole area of the detachable blouse from the shoulder you measure how low or how high you want the yoke that's where the yoke is going to begin for me i want it as low as 6.5 inches but if you want yours higher than that you can use as um high as 5 inches 5.5 depending on your choice okay so this is where i want the yoke for this particular detachable blouse to begin so i have 6.5 and i come over to this armhole area like this armhole length i just trace it down to the length of the blouse and then i mark that and then from this point i connect from this six and a half inch i connect back to this point can you see just follow the armhole and then just trace it down from there you connect both points together like so so this is basically how you curve out your yoke and with this we have the front part of our detachable blouse or cape ready so it's now for us to draft the back part and to get that done i need to draw this line of demarcation so to start with the back all i am going to be starting with the zipper allowance okay so i'm going to be marking out the zipper allowance of 1.5 inch so first of all mark out your zipper allowance from the top to this point and then you draw it out as a line and this is like i said this is the zipper allowance okay so after the zipper allowance i can now start imputing the basic bodies for the back so i start with the shoulder measurement like i did to the front 
to divide the shoulder measurement by two and add one inch to it so basically what i did to the front i'm just repeating the same at the back for this armhole area okay and then the length of the armor which is 8.5 and then i'm going to be connecting like so just you can see using the same length that i did at the front so this is the armhole length for the back and then the, i'm going to be marking out the middle of the that's the midpoint of the lamb armhole length which is 4.25 and then from there i connect the armhole the difference between this and the front is that the front you can see it went inward and the back did not so for the neckline remember the width for the front i use 3.5 so i'm going to be doing the same thing for the width but for the depth i'm going to be using 1.5 that's for the depth of the back and then i connect the neckline like so so in connecting the neckline please make sure you extend it to the zipper allowance i didn't do that here but make sure you do that okay and then at this armhole length i come down by three quarter of an inch that's for the shoulder slant and then i connect to the base of the neck and then at this um, lower part of the back just like i already did to the front you divide the body circumference measurement by four and add your seam allowance okay so but it's a company divided by four add your seam allowance and then you connect like so so at this point the basic bodies for the front and back is ready but in the case where you don't want the back to be like regular like so if you want it to still have a yoke at the back all you need is just to connect like so upward or downward depending on how you want to play around with the but back. for this particular one i'm going to be giving it a zigzag look at the back okay that's basically what i want to do in case you don't want that just play around it so for the zigzag i'm going to be sharing or um slashing the width of the back into two two inches and i think the last one i have 1.5 inch left okay that's fine so my, i come down by 1.5 inches that's the length that i want the zigzag to take okay so you can see that i'm adding an extra length to the back because of the zigzag but if you are not doing this please do not if like you're not doing the zigzag then it is not necessary then in between the two inches that i mark upward i just mark the midpoint all you see me do here is just for the zigzag okay that's just what i am doing that's the summary of what you see me doing here so now that i have all the points marked out the next thing i'm going to be doing is to um just be ruling out the zigzag lines or whatever so as you can see i'm marking out the zigzag or ruling out the zigzag lines like i said this is just me adding my own um Creative, creativity to it if you want yours to be different just play around it you are free to do whatever you want so at this point i have my zigzag at the back and for the front as well this is giving me an idea to do something at the front as well so i'm trying out something to see if i can just alter the uh, street look of the front which i think i'm going to be doing at this point so the front is going to have like a scallopy um look at the front area okay so this is just me doing my thing and at this point i think it's time for me to cut out what i have so i go about the cutting and for the front like i said if you don't want this scallopy just follow the first one i marked out and cut but for me i want it in a uh, scallopy and that's it for the front and for the back as well if cut out from the zipper allowance like so okay and then the neckline like i said when i was marking out the neckline always make sure you extend your neckline to the zipper allowance and then you cut so at this point you can see me cutting the zigzag parts carefully be careful with this so that you don't um cut out what you don't what you're not supposed to cut out so i i'm cutting out the back at this point so after cutting out my patterns for my um detachable top or cape is ready so at this point i'm going to be folding in the zipper allowance so that i can cut out these parts very well so i fold the zipper allowance in and then i cut out the zigzag for that part okay so basically we have everything sorted out as part of pattern for this detachable blouse is uh, is consigned and now it's time to cut on fabric so for the fabric please note that it is placed on fold okay so with the neckline at the center front okay so i'm going to be cutting along just like i have on the pattern already also for the fabric i'm not adding any extra inches anywhere because i have all the extra seam allowances already added to the pattern paper like i said the fabric is placed on fold not like not a single piece like the pattern paper that you see me use okay place your fabric on fold know that the neckline is always towards the center 
of the center fold of the fabric okay so for the back i'm going to be slashing open because of the zipper allowance so the back is going to be opened into two legs so and this is what the back looks like and see how beautiful it's looking and then this is what the front looks like so placing it on each other this is what we have so at this point it's time for us to start our stitching and for this i've already called the interface and i used another fabric because i want it like i said in the intro it's going to be a two-faced uh detachable cape so first of all i'm going to be stitching the neckline of the front together as far as this um top is concerned there is no interfacing now because i'm going to be using both faces also this is it for the neckline of the front and for the back the first thing to do is to stitch your zipper to the uh, to in between the two fabric because of what we want to achieve that's the two-faced thing after which you now move over to the neckline and then you stitch the neckline okay so i stitch the neckline for the uh, back as well by the way this is the hemming gum that i'm just uh, stitching on the neckline for the front and back so at this point i'm going to be cutting off the excess of the zipper allowance if you want you can trim off the whole thing but for me i just want to leave it like so and then the next thing i'm going to be stitching the zigzag area but not the whole um zigzag i'm not going to be stitching it all the way to the other end that's the side of the blouse okay i'm going to be stopping somewhere in between because like i said i'm going to be using the two face so the process of stitching for a two face is slightly different from irregular stitching and after that i'm going to be notching and cutting out any excess that i need to trim off so this is just me trimming off the excess um fabric that i have at the pointy area and then notching the other part as well so for the zip allowance like i said you can cut it off at this point so i turn it inside out okay so after turning inside i make sure you use something pointy to push out every a pointy area especially for the zigzag area and make sure you are careful so that you don't um rip off what you stitched already remember i trimmed those so i have a little um fabric left so after turning it inside out this is what it looks like on the inside and the outside so at this point you can see the fabric you can use any point for the outer depending on what you want to wear it with so i close the zipper allowance and this is what it looks like you can see this is one uh, side of it and also the other parts this is what the inside should look like so at this point i'm going to be closing the shoulder and then the side before before i close the remaining parts of the lower part of both the front and then the back okay so this is the shoulder being stitched together okay so after stitching the shoulder the for the side i'm going to be showing you like slightly how to go about the side that's the closing of the side so for the side i'm going to be taking up one of them that is the green one i'm going to be stitching the green one of the front and back together and then i stitch the orange one together so this is me just making sure that the measurement i have is accurate i just measure out and then stitch along what i have so this is the green to green and then the orange to the orange fabric okay so i've done i'm done with the green part i just turn over like so and then i'm going to be stitching on the uh, other one that's the orange and uh, navy blue fabric i stitch exactly what i do to the other one i do to the second one so after that we are almost done and at this point it's just for us to close the lower part of, of the top and then that is it you can see what it looks like on the inside and then the outside everything looking clean and with this you can wear any other faces you want if you want the orange you wear if you want the green that is fine so now we can close the lower part of our top and as you can see i'm just going to be turning it over like so this is not one of the easiest things to do but at this point you just have to be very patient and then you stitch round and finally this is what our two-faced detachable top or cape looks like and for the sleeves that's going to be in the next video after this one i didn't want to add it to this one so that its tutorial is not too long or just go back to my channel the tutorial for the trumpet sleeve is right the video after this one okay so guys thank you for watching and see you in my next one Bye.